Hello, today we'll be checking out Hurricane Ian, the continued swarm near the Ray Kayanis Ridge, and a very weird anomaly on our sun's satellites yesterday. We're continuing to see a swarm of earthquakes near the Ray Kayanis Ridge. Today at 1532 UTC, there was a magnitude 5.7 amongst that swarm. Here is a seismogram in Germany. We can see that earthquake being picked up on this seismogram. Coming over to stations near Iceland, we can see that earthquake being picked up just right here. Here's another station. We can also see the earthquake being picked up. These are all on the HHE channel. There's another station that looks like it wasn't doesn't have data for that time. Here's another station. We can see the signature being picked up. Today at around 3 a.m. UTC, there was a magnitude 6.5 earthquake east of the South Sandwich Islands. When this earthquake first came in, it did come in as a magnitude 7, but now it looks like the USGS has downgraded it to a magnitude 6.5. This area near South Sandwich Islands, of course, is no stranger to large earthquakes. Yesterday at 2234 UTC, there was a magnitude 5.5 northern east pacific rise this was just off the coast of mexico nicaragua colombia yesterday around 3 a.m utc time there was a magnitude 3.1 earthquake near mina nevada this came in at a 9.3 kilometers depth it does currently have a reviewed status now not too long ago this area did see a larger quake and ever since then it has been somewhat swarming with smaller quakes also in this area, they do have a pretty good bunch of seismic stations. Here is a cluster of stations I was able to pull up. These are all going to be on the SHZ channel. And here are their graphs. Lots of earthquake activity being picked up. Right here, this, uh, this signature looks really weird. This blue right here, it kind of goes tat, 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 tat. And then there's this break, and then there's this other tat. Uh, I haven't seen that signature before. Can, however, see many earthquake signatures. So this is the station specifically with that weird signature. Of course, now I notice that these are not currently updated. The current time is 1941. UTC and the bottom of this graph ends at 4 a.m. UTC, but I don't know if that is today Should be today So I tried pulling up the HHE channel for a station right underneath or on top of the earthquake um, And it looks like it also doesn't have any recent data and it's on the same network Okay, so here are some stations I was able to pull up right on top of the earthquake on the uh, strong motion channel and we can see they just don't have any recent data within the past 12 hours. And then even on the 12 hours that they do have data, it there's not there's nothing on there. We can see there's a little signature of something on this graph. Yesterday at 1134 UTC, there was a magnitude 5.4 earthquake just on land on the coast of Papua New Guinea. Looking at the West Pacific overall, it does seem just slightly quiet. Coming over to Hawaii, we continue to see a major uptick in earthquakes, with most of the uptick being near Mauna Loa. We can see how all these earthquakes just follow a perfect line of the fault over there. Also, there's still a cluster or a swarm of earthquakes happening near Kilauea. Coming up near the southern tip of the Aleutians Islands near Atslovo, Russia. There was a magnitude 4.5 earthquake yesterday at 2300 UTC time. This is a relatively deep earthquake at 137 kilometers. Here's one of the observatory satellites from NASA and we can see yesterday at 1400 UTC there was a really weird shake on the satellite. Now this may have been a calibration but as I have seen before calibration of these satellites usually create uh, a kind of square effect where a one 
quarter of the image will go away for a frame and then and then come back and then the sun will shift around like it did just there but not all at once it's usually just a quarter image gets shift around at a time so this glitch or anomaly just seemed a little weird to me it's not what a calibration would normally look like here is another instrument we can see the same event happening on this instrument Here's another instrument on this satellite. The same shake comes across. Here's data from the Deep Space Climate Observatory satellite. This data is from NASA. And we can see here at around 1400 UTC, there is a little bump in every section of the solar wind graph. Here's the GOES magnetometer. We can see the same anomaly showing up at the same time. This spike right here, it actually has kind of a larger spike below it. Coming over to the GOES x-ray flux, we can see a spike around that time. However, it is mixed in with a lot of other activity on this graph, so I couldn't say for sure that that spike is that event. All right, I had a lot of trouble finding this page. I'm not too sure why, but I did finally find it. Now these cameras give us a view of CMEs coming off of the sun, and the last bit of its data is kind of just at the end of the time that we saw the shaking on the satellite, but we kind of see a CME coming off at that time. Even more interestingly, just a couple hours ago, that large CME look at that that was literally I didn't even know about that till I accessed this just now that was at about 1300 that was seven hours ago there was a large CME you can see the same thing coming off of the C3 side then also on the left when I start it its data, its end of its data just starts when we saw that shaking on the satellite. At about the same time of that CME, we can see the X-ray flux pick up. We are on Windy tracking Hurricane Ian. Hurricane Ian has for the most part left Florida. It is currently making its way towards South Carolina and Georgia. It is forecasted to re-intensify back into a Category 1 hurricane. Right now, it is just classified as a tropical storm. Here's an update from 11 a.m. today from the National Hurricane Center. There is a danger of life-threatening storm surge through Friday along the coasts of northeast Florida, Georgia, and South Carolina. Residents in these areas should follow any advice given by local officials. Thank you for checking out today's video, and stay tuned for the next one.